All right, so here today we got some pretty fun stuff to go through. Yes, I know this is like a triple upload day for me, dude. Oh my god, <laughs> we got three different uploads of the gift code video. I think the revenue video should already be out by now, and now the uh, tier the ranking. So today we're gonna go through it into the channel, like and subscribe helps out a ton. A lot to talk about, so buckle in and be prepared for what we got here today. A lot to go through. Make your bets down below. How do you think she ranked? Did she do good or bad? We have JP and Global Tier List. Let's hop over there. First things first, they actually updated the change log. So there's a lot of changes with this entire update right here. Uh, first things first, Soda Twinkling Bunny has officially been added to the tier list. Ignore that. Ignore that again. Um, <laughs> just, just ignore that. Uh, here we go. D Killer Wife SS now to triple S. Let's go, baby. In all categories, but PvP. While Litter still remains at the top of the food chain, D Killer Wife comes extremely close. Um... Well then, not only is uh, D simply a better support uh, to the two D best DPSs, Alice and Red Hood, she is also a better CDR unit for campaign, since she has no ramp up time, while well, the ramp up time uh, with litter is low, high deficit gameplay, it can, uh, at high deficit gameplay, sorry, it can uh, be the reason your team uh, is surviving or, uh, or dying. So there's that. Uh, with D, we finally have a support who can consistently replace Litter in most situations, hence, we are raising her rating back to where she was placed when she was released. There you go. Uh, yeah, they dropped her, I think, recently, right? Uh, they did drop her, I think. So I don't know when it was that they, they decided to drop her, but they did drop her. Uh, which is funny. Go <laughs> Quickly go back on that. That's insanity. Pretty Unkind Maid from S to SS. I think they dropped her also. Uh, with uh, Bunny Soda's release, the Bunny uh, and Bully, uh, Bunny Alice incoming can't speak. We finally have the SG Com the shift that has been trying to make since back in November. When Tove got released, well, not only Tove had the uh, enough units to be considered a good support. Now the damage of the SG team is comparable to top teams in Soda. Not only does amazing damage herself, but she also buffs the likes of made Priv to her level. The SG team also has completely different units that do not clash with the existing meta, and this is a huge point since the uh, this means that they compete in. Um, damage uh, while not sharing resources that may weaken your other teams while you may not see uh, use in every raid we definitely believe that they'll be uh, used against a lot of bosses another point to note out uh, is that both made privity and um, bunny soda have aoe damage allowing them to prefer better against boss with ads Obviously, additional targets, right? Uh, Tove has now moved up to SS. Has to happen. Has to happen. And uh, from B tier to S tier and boss additional targets. Look at the irony there. Uh, Leona from A to S, but sadly only C to A. <laughs> it just so happens, dude. Uh, Leona could have been an easily like buffed up character or changed character, but I remember in the future, whenever we end up seeing like um, this, uh, what's the system? This new system, right? Oh my god. It's not relics, lost treasures, and favorite items, right? Once we see this system kick in for more characters, uh, after we wait every two months for one character, uh, we'll be in a good area, right? So, very, really cool stuff there. Rapunzel from A tier to S tier and Boss Solo, which she was continuously dropped also by them. Uh, with Kron's arrival, Rapunzel has taken it onto herself to be her pair, not only in situations with a dire need of healing, but um, while she might not be the, uh, the pick every time, she definitely can be a strong pick for most occasions. Yeah. I messed it up, but only in situations where there is dire need of healing. I butcher that. Um, Alice, A to, sorry, S to SS in campaign low deficit. The biggest issue that Alice in low deficit and casual gameplay apart from manual, um, what is it, intensiveness and high skill requirement is the extreme lack of ammo. But the one biggest reasons as to why Alice was favored uh, less for casual players. Um, now, however, the ammo problem can be circumvented with the introduction of Crown, who can buffer load speed, allowing Alice to hit more than enough shots during burst. Uh, this pair with Privity being a free unit, as uh, well as Resilience Cubes, uh, being one of the early game cubes, helps raise her standing even in casual gameplay. So there you go. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Uh, novel went down to A tier. Amelia went down to A tier, and Kila went down to B tier. I'll check why Amelia mainly. We know why this happens. She just... It's... it's Power creep, that's what it does. Uh, for this one over here, uh, Amelia, while stronger than A2, fills the same purpose as A2, but both are used when bosses with parts are in place since both of them skill immensely with the amount of target hits uh, targets to hit. However, in most cases, both of them decline in play, especially with newer units simply because doing more DPS in bosses with a less number of parts or no parts. I'll make this clear. I got so much hate when I said that Amelia didn't end up doing good in my opinion because we'll easily see her fall off and I got like attacked and look what happened in the end. It's true. What happens is when it's a pure DPS character, that's why I said Rem is better still in my opinion because she's going to age better, right? Like for example, right now with Lapless, people are like like losing their mind because Rem has so much potential to team up with, uh, with Lapless and do so much because again of their of their kits and the support aspect, right? It doesn't matter if, if you know, she gets power corrupt in DPS. That support's going to be there forever. Remember, it doesn't matter 
matter if some other bunny girl releases or some other shotgun character releases, you can't replace Soda. Soda's also buffing the other character. Remember that, right? It's not that she's just doing good DPS. She's providing the DPS also for per uh, Privity, right? So yes, Privity may DPS or out DPS her sometimes, but that's, that's because again, you're buffing her again. You're buffing on top of what she's giving as DPS, you're buffing the other one. So remember that, right? And I got, I got a lot of people may, mad at me, but hey, who's laughing now? But yeah, that's what happens, right? With support characters, there was there was outlast other characters. That's just simply the case. Uh, there's the change log. Let's see where uh, she ranked. So first things first, we are in uh, low deficit. Uh, she should be A tier. Yep, A tier. Um, SS should be one of the rankings, bare minimum. So I'm saying SS for both boss and additional. Let's go. So SS for solo, but not additional. Really? Wow. Huh. I would have said SS in both. How do I check the review? Here we go. Uh, pros and cons. So yeah, she's A tier, low deficit, A tier, high deficit, SS solo, SS additional target, S in PvP. Her normal attack modifier is very high and skill 2 adds to it. Since her attack buff is isolated uh, within her burst skill, she scales hard with attack buffs, but beware of dilution from Tove. Provides attack damage buff to herself and another unit with the highest attack. Personal hit rate. Um, buff helps with dealing with enemies that are far away or have small hitboxes with 44% HR and OL, right? Uh, she should have a smaller spread than a normal AR, allowing her to get core hits mid-range enemies. Again, sorry, mid-range enemies. I don't know why I'm eating words here today. I'm tired, you know what I mean? I got, uh, I got uh, bunnies, uh, what, bunny soda's assets in my brain. Um, exclusive supports unwanted uh, by other teams except B. Alice. So there you go, uh, which show, uh, which allows her performance to be consistent and not be subject to inferior pairings. Uh, remember this also because because of this notion, you don't really use these characters outside of shotgun meta. Like they're they're literally exclusive to a shotgun meta, right? Uh, for example, Anise can be sandwiched anywhere; it doesn't have to be restricted anywhere. That's why like a different character, right? For this case, you can't take really anybody here, you know, minus one or two characters, and put them anywhere else. They're they're stuck to this team. They're they're meant on this team, and that's it. <laughs> outside of this team, they're really dog crap. So. That's there. Clip SG, so her uh, burst gen is very high. Excellent for PvP. Extends at, what did she get for PvP? S tier? Nice. Extends FB by 5 seconds. Therefore, and removing the need for CDR. Appropriate for beginners without CDR units. Uh, burst skill uh, deals good damage in PvP due to her own attack. Uh, translated into her wipe, possible. And then huge assets. So at least Private knows what they're cooking there. Uh, she has an absurd delay between reloads, which can be reduced with reload speed buffs. The more you force her to reload, the more time she will just sit there and do nothing because of reloading. Hence, manually using her can be a DPS loss. Requires very high investments. This is what it is, both at skill levels and in OL gear. That's why I said if you really want to build this team, you have to be committed. All right? You can't just, like, you know, get into the relationship and leave, you know, a day into it, right? You, you got to stay committed. And, uh, yeah, you know, commitment issues exist. So stay committed. <laughs> Go for the proper thing, dude. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, I swear, I have comments, like, they'll, they'll, they'll summon for the character, they're like, damn, this is this is dog crap, why I summon for this? I gotta build her, bro, you can't just, like, leave her there, you know what I mean? They're expecting, like, crown off rip, like, oh, it's not crown, oh, oh, L, you know what I mean? Uh, no, you have to build her, right? So I saw a lot of people saying, like, dude, she's mid, bro, what are you saying, dude? Gotta build her, gotta, gotta build her, dude. Uh, but yeah, we expected SS somewhere, right? We expected that, but as time regresses, we'll see. When Alice releases, I'm guessing they're gonna up this. Uh, again, I thought they would like wait to release this, but they did it last time too, where they where they knew it would turn out. Uh, but with Alice, I'm thinking this would be much better because again, what Alice gives and how she puts uh, Tove up there too. So no chips, um, no special effects equals crippled. Uh, the best way to prevent that is pairing her with Tove, who is highly dependent on uh, B Alice, B Alice, which is Bunny Alice. The uh, again. Entire case is true here. Tove needs Alice, right? And, and that's what's going to happen. Uh, most buffs provided by the uh, the support do not last 15 seconds, which means that FB extension can be critically bad to most teams, reducing our flexibility, which is a huge reason why she also gets deranked here. She's not flexible. She's a very, very, um, like, locked-in character. She's locked into one team, and that's it. Uh, she is an SG, hence she feeds into Jacqueline PvP and is susceptible to Scarlet Skill 2. Wipe strength in PvP can be surpassed by, uh, or sorry, suppressed by Rosanna related to Bug. SG's natural uh, accuracy is poor, so even if she can give herself hit rate, it's still not quite accurate. Uh, non soda like facial expressions. Yeah, the facial expressions are dull crap. I hope they realize that, dude. The, the facial expressions suck. Like, I expected, like, cutish ish facial expressions. I got, like, a, I got, like, Toga from, from MHA. Dude, she's straight about to, like, suck my soul out. And not that way. Um, like, dude, holy hell. Uh, Nick A, uh, character evaluation list over here. <laughs> oh, my God. Here we go. Uh, so this basically tells us what JP is thinking. So JP gave Alice a higher score at 9.1. Um, but, again, just ranked her lower here in Arena. 
Uh, they gave her an S+, plus and an S+, plus, so she's doing both good in Arena and in boss battle, but not good in small fry battle, so keep that in mind. Uh, so we got an S+, plus here. Um, that will rank her on the tier list over here, which is around on par with, like, Amelia, Winter Ludmilla, uh, A2, uh, 2B, Snow White, Helm, Guillotine, and Privity, which is not bad. It's a pretty good character. So, again, it's about where I said it wasn't obviously going to be, like, top tier DPS breaking the meta, right? These still have to be, for what they are, the better of the characters, but she is good, right? The only reason that I give her, again, a D rank is just because she's limited to such a, a hard team to manage and a hard team to invest into. Uh, yeah, when you get closer to endgame, it's a good team to get to because, again, they're going to fit in for most comps and be super sick to go through, right? But, um, you know, it, that takes time. <laughs> That takes a lot of time, <laughs> so keep that in mind. But that's what the uh, the rankings are looking like. The rankings are in. Let me know. Do you rock with anything here, uh, or do you disagree? Do you think she's better than she's being portrayed? I definitely think when Soda, uh, or sorry, uh, Bunny Ass releases, she might get some more rank ups here. Uh, because again, for for boss, I'm pretty sure she can easily make it to uh, additional targets up to SS. I do think so, right? Compared to these ones over here, I think she could be on par with them. But uh, that's where she got ranked, right? So yeah, there is that. Um, pretty cool stuff. Yeah, she got T ranked here. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Yeah, let me know what you think. Dude, she made it, dude. This is like the biggest recovery ever of her character. <laughs> she made so many comebacks. <laughs> she moved up to tier list twice. Once with Mary Privity and once now. So that's, like, that's crazy. All right, take care. Have fun. That's all I got for you here today. Peace out, everyone. Sorry for the longer video. Holy hell. So many uh, changes and stuff. So yeah, take care. Have fun. And uh, that's been it for me. Thanks for watching.